Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, owner of Mac Financial Group. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to use QuickBooks payments so you can get paid directly from your customers using QuickBooks online. Um, before we get started, if you guys could, please hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anyone else that can benefit from this information, please share this video out. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we're going to show you how to get three free stocks so you can start your stock portfolio out today risk free. All right, enough of that. Let's dive into the screen and let's see how it works. All right, guys, so to set up QuickBooks payments, you're going to go up to the gear icon on the top right and click account and settings. And once everything loads, you'll see on the left hand side, you'll see payments tab right here and you'll click on that. And to set it up, you'll click learn more. And like you can see, you can take credit cards or bank transfers with this. You can accept payments through QuickBooks, emailed invoices, and mobile, which we'll go over in a minute. And it automatically updates when you get paid and matches to those transactions. So we'll go through all those things in just a little bit. But first, you want to click learn more. And this is where you can set up everything. It's also going to give you the fees that they're going to charge per transaction so for all bank transfers it's one percent but it won't go over ten dollars and then for credit card transactions per swipe is 2.4 percent plus 25 cents per invoice is 2.9 percent plus 25 cents and then keyed in manually is 3.4 percent plus 25 cents now let's compare that to let's say square one of the biggest credit card processing companies and it's very comparable really so per swipe 2.4 percent plus 25 cents and it's actually 2.6 percent plus 10 cents for square fees so very comparable a little higher percentage lower uh, flat transaction fee per invoice for quickbooks 2.9 percent plus 25 cents and then per invoice for square is 2.9 plus 30 cents or 3.5 plus 15 cents if processing using card on file which i'm guessing is a a specification for a card in their system I'm not sure i don't really use square but as you can see it's actually cheaper for an invoice by five cents at their lowest plus they square can even charge you more for some sort of specification that they're specifying there and then keyed in is 3.4 plus 25 cents on QuickBooks and theirs is 3.5% plus 15 cents. So very comparable. I, I don't think it really would change much. And now you have all the integrations with QuickBooks if you're already using QuickBooks. I think it just makes more sense to use this payments. That's why I use it. I don't see those being a big difference. I'm actually kind of happier with a lower percentage and a little higher flat because it makes if your invoice is really high that that percentage can really add up so those are the fees check them out see what you like um, but that's this is also as of july of 2020 so these always change and stuff like that so be careful and look at the current fees whenever you're watching this video all right but to get set up, you'll click get set up and you're going to put in your business info here. So what business type, email, name and industry and how much you think you'll process monthly. Then you'll put in the owner info and then finally the bank account that you'll be depositing payments to. So once that's done, you'll hit activate payments and then you'll get an email saying that it's processing. It'll probably take about two days for QuickBooks to accept you into the QuickBooks payments processor. But then once you are, you'll be able to accept payments through QuickBooks. So let's go to the first example. And if on our last video, we showed how to send invoices. Now we're gonna show how they can pay using those invoices. So for example, 
we bring up this invoice, you're going to see these online payment options. So you can check these at your will. So if you want them to pay with card and or bank transfer, you can check them. Maybe you don't want to accept credit cards and you only want to accept bank transfer because it's a lower fee, whatever you'd like. I'm going to select both and then save and send to this individual and you'll actually see this is a preview of what the customer will receive and you can see right here pay invoice right in the email they can click that and it'll give them the option of card or bank transfer if it's card they'll type in their card information if it's bank transfer they'll type in their bank information and they can pay you directly through this email which makes it really easy for them and really easy for you to receive that money um, the other way is if and i'm actually going to go back to the practice for this to show how to record a sales receipt and take an ach debit or record a credit card manually if you have their information already. So if I go to new and I go to sales receipt and say I'm going to receive a payment from this customer and if I choose ACH, I can enter their bank info right here and it'll also make sure that I have assigned authorization from this customer that I will be debiting their account so you do need to send them a form and they need to sign off with their bank information giving you permission to pull from their account directly before you can do this and quickbooks just make sure you have that first and you check this box before you actually pull the money uh, the next is if you have a credit card you can just type in enter the credit card transactions right here or swipe the card if you're on mobile and you have a card reader they actually do send you card readers that you can use if you're in person and using the mobile app to do it so look into how to get your card reader if that's beneficial for you and that's really it guys very very simple very easy to get paid using quickbooks online and it's as easy as that. Go ahead and set that up and I'm sure you'll get paid by your customers a lot quicker. All right, so as promised, your three free stocks. So there's two links down below in the description. The first one is for Webull. If you use that link to sign up for Webull, you'll get your first free stock and then your second free stock comes when you deposit $100 into that new account and that second stock can be worth up to $1,400. Now your third free stock you can get by using the Robinhood link and once you sign up using that link you'll get your third free stock in your Rob new Robinhood account. So go ahead, sign up for QuickBooks Payments, get your three free stocks. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great week.